And in North Korea, our goal is denuclearization. We cannot allow this dictatorship to threaten our nation or our allies with unimaginable loss of life. We will do what we must do to prevent that from happening, and it will be done if necessary, believe me. That was President Trump speaking just a short time ago during a briefing with his most senior military staff, talking really tough on North Korea, Iran, and ISIS. With me now, retired Gunnery Sergeant Jesse Jane Duff, now a senior fellow at the London Center for Policy Research, and Mike Waller, an information oper operations vice president at the Center for Security Policy. Mike, let me start with you. Uh, you know, what's really interesting about that scene, and I think you could actually sense or feel the tension there, is that some of those, some of the gentlemen there, some of these military leaders, recently have said or suggested policies that counter some of the things that we've heard or believe that President Trump believes in. Now, everyone applauds the fact that they're getting there, they're going to get together, they're going to talk about this, but President Trump, uh, pretty, not, not, um, pretty star stern about North Korea being denuclearized, about Iran and, and them not being in the spirit of this the nuclear deal and some of these other things, including a $700 billion budget. So what's your take ultimately on what's going to happen after tonight? After tonight on the... On the uh, With respect to policy in general, what we're seeing, uh, for instance, Mattis comes out and says we should stay in the Iranian deal. I don't think right. it's going to happen. It's, it's a mess. We don't know whether we're going to stay in or we're going to stay out. There's no idea. Uh, the, and we had the issue today in uh, in uh, Niger where we had lost three special forces guys. Another uh, policy mess that the president inherited, where we didn't listen to the locals who could have done the job for us, and now we've uh, we're starting to lose our best people. Yeah, I mean we were there to train the locals, and we lost three of our of our best and brightest, two others injured. Jesse Jane, again though, uh, you know th this is critical stuff. I mean we're coming down to a deadline on Iran. Uh, North Korea making their own deadlines with their provocative actions. And President Trump wants to take a very stern approach to this. And I thought it was telling also, and I want to remind the audience, he told them, I, I also expect broad military options when needed at a much faster pace. Kind of letting these guys know, listen, step it up. Oh, absolutely. Uh, I think it was a surprise to many people when uh, Secretary Mattis had testified that he supported the Iran deal. However, when he had testified for his confirmation hearings, he said he supported it. So it's not a surprise. However, President Trump assured us that that was a absurd deal, that the United States came out with the short end. And I find it's, it's going to be very difficult for him to back talk that and suggest that we're going to stay involved. The, the United States benefited nothing out of this, and it basically legalized Iran's capability to pursue nuclear capability. And when it comes to North Korea, I agree. We have to be able to be firm and strong because right now we are at, at, at risk on in the Middle East and North Korea. And they're joined up, they're paired up right. completely, and that's where Iran is getting its nuclear knowledge from, North Korea. Mike, uh, President Trump tweeting to Tillerson, hey, you can do this negotiating stuff all you want. It hasn't worked. It won't work. They've played the world, particularly America, for years. And today saying we must, uh, we do, must do what we must. Uh, what does that sound like to you? Sounds like we have to go through with it. The president has to view this whole crisis as Chinese nuclear weapons in North Korea. This is a Chinese-made problem. We have to hold the Chinese accountable to it. And if the president doesn't stand fast, the whole thing's so lost. So standing fast means military option. That's what we have our military for. Jesse Jane, military I, option? I agree, absolutely. And right. as far as the troops lost in Niger, I think we all need to keep those families in yeah. our prayers. Absolutely. Uh, three uh, of our bravest Three lost Green Berets, Thank yes. Thank you very much. Now, here's Lou.